Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. According to media reports, the Indian Air Force is against the idea of inducting additional Su-30 aircraft, as its avionics engine and radar can be upgraded, but are not fit for future needs. Around 40 Su-30 aircraft were to be modified to carry an air-launched version of the BrahMos, and as per structural studies performed on the fighter jets by Hindustan Aeronautics, it was reported that the modifications on the aircraft to make them capable of carrying the BrahMos, are technically risky and economically unacceptable. Modifying Su-30 to carry the BrahMos, requires reinforcing the aircraft's underbelly, and installing a heavy-duty mounting station, and instead of upgrading the existing aircraft, which have suffered some amount of wear and tear, procuring new ones with modifications will be better. Also, the new effort to procure 110 fighter jets is unlikely to move ahead before 2019 elections, and even when it does, the price negotiations and talks over the Make in India component of the proposed purchase are likely to take several years, and the deliveries will not start before 2024. The induction of two remaining squadrons of Su-30 by 2020, and the arrival of two squadrons of the Rafale aircraft brought in flyaway condition by 2022, will take the squadron strength to 35, and if the Indian Air Force places an order for additional Su-30, it could take the number to 38 by 2024. The Defence Ministry has clarified that India is not being forced to procure the F-16 to get a waiver from the US. According to experts, the F-16 Block 70 currently offered to India are vastly different and is a downgrade from what was initially offered under the previous MMRCA tender. The F-16 Iron was more customized to meet Indian requirement and had better option to adopt more indigenous systems in the platform than the F-16 Block 70 currently on the offer to India. A Russian army contingent has arrived in Pakistan to take part in the third edition of a joint bilateral military training exercise, which will continue till the 4th of November. Russia and Pakistan have also signed an agreement, allowing Pakistani troops to train in Russia. India and Russia have decided to launch a new department under the India-Russia Intergovernmental Commission on Military Technical Cooperation, to bring each other's militaries closer than ever before. The department will focus on enhancing military interactions, reviving lapsed bilateral military programs, and providing a further boost to joint training and military exercise, and the first meeting is expected in December 2018. According to media reports, Japan is hoping to clinch a military logistics pact with India, that will allow access to each other's bases, to balance China's growing weight in the region. Prime Minister Modi will be visiting Japan this weekend, for an annual summit with his Japanese counterpart, and the proposed acquisition and cross-servicing agreement between the two militaries is on the agenda. Kenji Hiramatsu, Japan's ambassador to India has said, that it was only natural for the two militaries to have a logistics sharing agreement, because of the large number of maneuvers carried by the two militaries each year. Ten days after a newly designed Aero India 2019 website was launched for registration, about 66 exhibitors have registered to participate in the show. Of the 66 exhibitors who have registered, 49 companies are Indian, and 18 companies are from abroad. The aircraft expected to participate in the show will be from six companies who have responded to the Indian Air Force's request for information for 110 fighter jets. The Chinese AG-600 has conducted its first water takeoff and landing, in a major milestone for the world's largest amphibian aircraft. The maximum takeoff weight is 53.5 tons, and will undertake a range of missions, and its target market is domestic parapublic organizations, 